Hello everyone, we will take some more examples for the context-free languages and the questions which has been asked related to this in the GATE examination. So uh, this is the question which was asked in the GATE 2010. Uh, Let's see the question. The question says that, uh, the consider the languages L1, L2, L3, L4, and which of the following statement is true? So it is asking about the which of the languages are context-free and which are not. So let's decide about this according to these questions. So the L1 is saying that 0 raised to the power i, 1 raised to the power j, where i is not equal to j. So meaning of this is that i j se bada ho sakta hai, ya j i se bada ho sakta hai. So how can we handle this? When we have zeros, we can push it to the stack. And when we have one, we can pop it. If i greater than j, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then there will be some zeros in the stack. And if j is greater than i, then now about the L2 language, which is saying that 0 raised to the power i, 1 raised to the power j, where i is equal to j. This is simply context-free. We are making a comparison of i and j. There should be same number of i, same number of zeros as the number of ones. So if we have pushed for zeros in the stack and popped for one, and if it's in the end, if it's in the stack, then we will say that our language L2 is context-free. Now let's see about this 0 raised to the power i and 1 raised to the power j, where i is equal to 2j plus 1. It means that the i's sankhya is वो j के double है और double से एक double से एक कम है। so आप इसको भी handle कर सकते हैं। आप zeros आने पे दो zeros को push करें and उसके बाद फिर एक additional zeros आप end में insert कर दें जब भी पहला बनाए and then उसके बाद आप दो दो एक one के corresponding एक वन के कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग आप एक जीरो को रिमूव करेंगे तो देन स्टैक हम पूरी लास्ट में बचेगा इस केस में आप बता सकते हैं ये जो एल थ्री लैंग्वेज है वो भी कंटेक्स्ट थी व्हाट अबाउट दिस जीरो रेस्ट तू पावर आई वन रेस्ट तू पावर जे आई इस नॉट इक्वल तू बीजे सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इस L equals to L1 intersection L2, where L1 and L2 are the languages defined as below. So, this may ya to koi language regular hogi ya context free hogi. Isi ke according hum isme decide karte hain. So, let's say L1 language mein hume given hai ki A raised to the power m and B raised to the power m. Iska matlab hai ki A aur B ka comparison hai. To jab aapko A mile, to aap push kar dijiye stack mein B mile to pop kijiye. Empty hoga stack jab B B is finish ho jayenge. C just ek separator hai. C के आने के बाद जब A आए तो आप इसको stack में push कर दीजिए और जब B आए तो stack से pop कर लीजिए stack and and में empty इसका मतलब कि आपका comparison successful हो गया so ये जो L1 language है वो context free हो गया and now after this let's let's see this L2 L2 is asking about A raised to the power i B raised to the power j and C raised to the power k where i j k is greater than or equal to zero तो इसका simple सा meaning ये है कि इसमें कोई comparison नहीं है A B और C में it's just that कि A is आएंगे तो नहीं के बाद बीज आएंगे दें बी के बाद सी आएंगे केवल यही आपको इंश्योर करना है तो ये जो लैंग्वेज होगी दिस विल बी रेगुलर अगर आप इसका एक एनएफए बनाना चाहें तो इसका एनएफए पॉसिबल होगा कि आप इनिशियल स्टेज पे हैं इनिशियल स्टेज से जब आपको इनिशियल स्टेज में जब आपको एस मिले तो आप जीरो स्टेट पर आएं इस नेक्स्ट स्टेज में आपको बीस मिले तो आप यहाँ पे रहें फिर एप्सलॉन ट्रांजिशन हो एंड देन इसके बाद जब सीज मिले तो आप इसे स्टेज पे रहें तो दिस स्टेज विल बी और दिस फाइनल दिस स्टेज विल बी द फाइनल स्टेज सो दिस इस दी ऑटोमेटा पॉसिबल सो हेंस दिस लैंग्वेज एलिट्रोइस रेगुलर सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट � so if you are taking the context-free language and taking its intersection with the regular language, so this is a big circle and this is the big circle. This is the context-free language and you are taking the 
intersection of this with the context free, this language actually becomes the context free. So whenever uh, the language is context free, it is obviously it is obviously recursive and recursively enumerable as well. Okay, so if this is so, then we can say that uh, non-recursive is not the correct option. The regular, it cannot be regular. It has to be context-free. So this is not the correct option. Context-free, but not regular. Yes, this is correct. And recursively enumerable, but not context-free. So this is also wrong. So only option C is correct in this case. Let's take uh, another question. Uh, this is asking about uh, L1 is equals to a raised to the power i, b raised to the power j, and c raised to the power k, where i is equal to j. It means we are making a comparison of a's and the b's only. c can appear any number of the times. So there is no restriction on the c, but there is a restriction on a and the b. So that's why this is making a comparison. Wherever the comparison is required, we'll say that the language is context free. What about the next one? a raised to the power i, b raised to the power j, where j is equal to 2i. So you can say that the J ki sankhya hai wo 2 i ki equal hai, iska matlab hai ki agar a power 1 hoga, so it will be b square. If it is a square, then it will be b power 4 and so on and so forth. Ye jo language hogi, wo infinite language hogi. So, aap jab bhi a raayin, to aap uska double a's sky pe push kar dije, jaysay b's aayin, unko pop kar dije. So, this language L2 is also context free. So, L1 is not, options dekhte hai, L1 is not context free. But L2 is, this is wrong, because both context free in our case. Ne. L1 intersection, L2 is fine. Achha, L1, L1 language is the language of which one is L1 language is the string. So, because L1 language ke string is the same, we will say, this is A raised to the power 1, B raised to the power 1. If C is, if, they, if uh, the counting of C is greater than or equal to 1, so at least 1 C to over here. Next, let's say a square and b square and c. Let's say a square, b square, c square. So, you can see that in other a set a or a set a, then the intersection is not going So, L1 intersection L2 is fine. Null set is or L1 is not non regular. So, L1 is context free, so it's non regular. So, this is the statement of the truth. Third statement dekhte, L1 inter, L1 union L2 is not context free. If we have a context free language L1 and context free language L2, then the union of the is context free. Hota hai. So here statement is false. The last statement is there is a four state PDA that accepts L1, but there is no DPDA that accepts L2. So the second wala, uh, context free language hai, ye, ye actually deterministic context free. Because I know that I have to corresponding action. B के corresponding क्या action लेना है, कोई भी doubt नहीं है, तो इसलिए हम ये कह सकते हैं कि ये DPD है तो जरूर होगा, option D is also incorrect, so only option 2 is correct in this case. Next, और एक और question लेते हैं, so this question is saying that L1 is equal to A power N, B power M, C power N plus N, so यहाँ पे ऐसा कहा जा रहा है कि A और B की जो संख्या होगी, cumulative उनकी संख्या, अने इन दोनों को add कर लेंगे N और N को, तो इतनी संख्या C की होगी निश्चित रूप से ये कंटेक्स्ट फ्री है जब भी आपके पास ए आए उनको पुश कर दीजिए स्टैक पे जब बी आए तो उनको भी स्टैक पे पुश कर दीजिए और जैसे ही सी आए वन बाय वन पॉप करना स्टार्ट कीजिए अगर एंड में स्टैक एम्प्टी होता है तो ये जो एल वन लैंग्वेज होगा दैट विल बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय दिस पीडीए हेंस दिस इज कंटेक्स्ट फ्री एल2 लैंग्वेज देखते हैं एल2 लैंग्वेज में कहा जा रहा है कि ए uh, की संख्या और बी की संख्या ऐड करके सी की संख्या के इक्वल होनी चाहिए यहां पे ये भी कहा जा रहा है कि ए की संख्या बी के इक्वल होनी चाहिए तो यहां पे दो तरह के कंपैरिजंस पॉसिबल हैं दो तरह के कंपैरिजंस पॉसिबल नहीं होंगे हमारे कंटेक्स्ट फ्री लैंग्वेजेस में इसलिए ये कंटेक्स्ट फ्री नहीं है सो एल1 इज कंटेक्स्ट फ्री बट एल2 इज नॉट कंटेक्स्ट फ्री सो ऑप्शंस देखते हैं ट्रू ऑप्शंस के बारे में पूछा जा रहा है सो बोथ एल1 एंड एल2 आर कंटेक्स्ट फ्री गलत है क्योंकि एल2 लैंग्वेज कंटेक्स्ट फ्री नहीं है एल1 इज कंटेक्स्ट फ्री बट एल2 इज नॉट कंटेक्स्ट फ्री Okay, just a minute, a guilty mirror is away. So, option number A is wo sahi hai to, uh, sorry. Cut. Now, uh, L1 language is context free while L2 is not. This is the correct option. L2 is context free, but L1 is not context free. Ye galat hai. Aur ye galat hai, A is context free and A is not context free. This is context free. 
So option B is the only correct option according to this. This was the great 2016 question. Now let's take another question. This is saying that L1 is A power M, B power N, A power N, B power N. Let's write it separately. A power N, B power N, A power N, and B power M. So I can say that A I to push A B I to push A Then after that, again A I to pop and start. If the A and B are equal, if A is coming, if we pop, then B is finished. After that, when B is coming, you can pop and finish. Exactly the same number of comparisons, exactly the same number of A's as number of B's. The second one is our comparison. इसका एक हमें एग्जांपल ले लेते हैं उससे ज़्यादा अच्छा समझ आएगा लेट्स से एम की वैल्यू थ्री एम ले रहे हैं और बी की वैल्यू टू ले रहे हैं सो दिस इस ए क्यू बी स्क्वायर एंड देन ए स्क्वायर बी क्यू तो जब आपके पास ए जाए तो आप उसको पुश कर लीजिए स्टैक पे जब बी आए दो बीस आएंगे तो आप उसको � ये जो लैंग्वेज L1 है दैट इस कंटेक्स्ट परी। नाउ L2 की बात करते हैं L2 में ऐसा कहा जा रहा है कि a पावर n b जस्ट जस्ट लेट मी राइट हियर a पावर m b पावर n a पावर m एंड b पावर n इसमें कंपैरिजन इसका इसका एक्सपेक्ट किया जा रहा है और कंपैरिजन इसका इसका एक्सपेक्ट किया जा रहा है जबकि बीच में कुछ और भी एलिमेंट्स हैं � a power m, b power n, m is equal to 2n plus 1. So, we take an example that m's value we have zoomed in, 2 is. So, n's value will be 5. So, a square and b power 5. Our s is equal to 2n plus 1. So, a square and b power 5. So, when a is coming, you push 2a and stack. And as the first b is coming, the corresponding b is coming, and you push the first b is coming. As the first one is the corresponding A and A is pushed. Then, as the B is coming, you will pop it and pop it. If it will be matched, then what does it mean? Our comparison has been successful. L3 is our context-free. So, which languages are our context-free? Now, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, L7, L8, L9, L10, L11, L12, L13, L14, L15, L16, L17, L18, L19, L20, L21, L22, L23, L24, L25, L26, L27, L28, L29, L30, L31, L32, L33, L34, L35, L36, L37, L38, L39, L40, L41, L42, L43, L44, L45, L46, L47, L48, L49, L50, L51, L52, L53, L54, L55, L56, L57, 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 L